Okay, okay, okay. I know I've been doing a lot on the GOA case in New York State. This will be my last update until probably August 15th. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What is up, Wolverines? It is my last Friday, and it is Friday. It's like 2 a.m. on Friday of my vacation, and I really haven't had that much of a vacation. So, if you can do me a big favor, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're wondering who I am, I'm the crazy guy known as John Crump, who is also the watcher of the 2A. And today we're going to be talking about what is going on in New York State. Okay, the case we're talking about is Antonyuk vs. Bruin. Ivan Antonyuk is a Ukrainian immigrant who currently has an unrestricted concealed carry license. I'm not going to go too much into it because I've covered it in the past and you can just go check out one of those videos. I'll link it at the end of this video. But there is a new law coming out called the CCIA, which is the Concealed Carry Improvement Act, which is not very improvement like it is more of a restriction on the right of new yorkers to carry basically it made everything in new york a sensitive area even though the supreme court said you cannot do that you cannot make everything a sensitive area because that runs a of bruin but new york has done it anyway so ivan antioch and goa has sued over the ccia and they also filed for a preliminary injunction. A preliminary injunction would stop the law from going into effect. You have two things you have to do to get a preliminary injunction. First is to prove that there are damages beyond that that can be solved by monetary means. Second, you have to prove that you are likely to succeed on the merits. And I think GOA has a good case on both of these points. In response, to GOA's filing for a preliminary injunction, New York State has asked for a 14-day extension to be able to refile a response. Basically, you have a certain timeline where you have to file a response. New York wants an extra two weeks. And they said that this should be okay because Ivan Antonyuk's permit does not expire until January 2023. GOA objected to this, stating that they wanted the preliminary injunction to prevent the law from going into effect because they're not only representing Antonyuk, they're representing a bunch of gun owners in New York, and Antonyuk's rights will be curtailed anyway because under the new law, his rights are actually less than before the Bruin decision. So the judge had to decide who is right and who is wrong and the judge said that new york does not get their two weeks that's because goa needs seven days to respond to new york's response to a preliminary injunction and if they would give them two weeks that would put them way over the limit and the law would go into effect New York was claiming that they had to do a bunch of historical research and it was constitutionally complex. So they really could not answer in the time limit. The judge basically said, well, hey, you did all this research during Bruin, use that, which I've never seen before. It was amazing. Also, he wants to issue the final ruling before the September deadline for the law to go into effect. The law goes into effect September 1st, and he wants to rule on the preliminary injunction before that time. So we'll see what happens, but this is good news for gun owners. It seems like this judge is not playing around with New York State, and if I was a betting man, I would pit money on GOA right now. Like I've always said, in the courts, you never know what's going to happen until it actually does happen. And if anyone who tells you they know what's going to happen is full of BS. So we'll see what happens. 
but it should be an exciting month, and I do believe that GOA will get the victory here for the preliminary injunction, at least because they have to be able to succeed on the merits. I mean, these laws are a spit in the face to the Bruin decision. The justices said that sensitive places can be used, but very, very seldomly, only for like government buildings or schools and not where people gather. And New York actually made all private businesses gun-free zones unless they post a sign outside opting them out of the law. So because New York made all businesses gun-free zones unless they opt out by posting signs and they also made Times Square a sensitive area even though they made it a sensitive area because people gather there, which is a direct violation of Bruin. So I do believe that GOA will secede on the merits and a right denied cannot be rectified by money. So we'll see what happens. But I am cautiously optimistic and you should be too, especially if you live in New York. All right, that is it. I love you very much. Stay ever vigilant, stay ever free, keep in the fight. I'm gonna get some sleep now. Wolverine's mother.